Hi everybody, welcome back to Big T's Chop Shop. Today what we're gonna be doing is trying to set up the VersaBuilt multi-grip system that allows our Tormach robot to tend our Tormach CNC. The idea is that um, sort of VersaBuilt came up with this system that uh, allows you to use vice jaws both for work holding as well as for picking up your parts from your material loading area. So they basically think that there's nothing better to hold your parts than a set of vice jaws. And it kind of makes sense. This is what we use for machining. But in most cases, you also end up having perfect grip or a perfect pattern for holding your part. So the robot can manipulate these jaws by attaching to the end of them at a sort of carefully set up um, set of dovetails and pin locations there um, to grab these jaws themselves, flip them over, use them to pick up your part and then load it into the first built vise. So we're gonna go through the process of basically setting this up and plumbing it in and seeing if we can get things running. Uh, we'll look at the code and the hardware uh, in order to get this done. So hopefully this is interesting for you. Maybe you're trying to set up one of these systems yourself. We'll show you some of the trials and tribulations that we went through and uh, hope you enjoy watching this. The first component of the system is basically the solenoid interface board. So what this uh, board does, uh, provided by Tormach here, is it allows uh, the, the robot machine controller to operate pneumatic valves in order to open and close the vise and the grippers um, for the, the uh, robot tending kit. So it comes preloaded with connectors for, um, that, are, that are already wired to go with the controller and uh, inputs and outputs for um, the air lines, which you know, come from your clean compressed air source. So we'll get that all set up to go. Back of the control box has a number of digital inputs and outputs. These are pretty straightforward. You screw the provided uh, connectors into them and basically they get exposed in the path pilot controller for you to um, either read the inputs or control the outputs. In our case, uh, since we don't have anything else plugged in here yet, we're just going to wire up our solenoids to digital I.O. 0, 1, and 2. Maybe that'll change in the future, but good enough for now. Okay, great. So our first bench test here is basically just going to be to make sure that our solenoids are active. So let's uh, go over to the status screen here, which allows us to um, control the digital I.O. on the um, robot controller. Um, um, so we're just going to try turning on digital out number one. There we go. Digital out two. Great. And digital out three. Great. So it looks like we got solenoid control. So what I've done now is I've gone ahead and I've plumbed in the pneumatics from my air source into the solenoid bank, and then from the solenoids into our gripper and our vise. And we're gonna test fire all these things on the bench, make sure that everything's working as it's supposed to. Let's have a look at the pneumatics on the solenoid controller. So this is our incoming air, um, basically comes from our clean compressed air source. On the left hand side, we have the control uh, and the valve here for our vise. It's a two state control. So basically by convention, I set up blue to open the vise and black to close it. On the right hand side, this controls the gripper. Uh, the gripper in this system is a three state device. So it can be open, closed or floating. And floating basically just means it's in neutral and there isn't pressure being applied to, to either side. Um, so uh, again, I went with blue to open, red to close. Okay, so on the other side, pretty obvious what's going on. Um, we've got our light blue line hooked up to open the vise. Uh, we've got our black line hooked up to close the vise. And likewise here, blue to open the gripper, red to close the gripper. Next step is to pull together a little conversational program to just run our components through the paces. So um, the first thing that we're gonna do here is that we're, we're able to name our um, inputs and outputs. It makes it a little bit easier to keep track of um, what it is that you're talking about in your Python program. So we had the um, 
first I/O connected to the vice toggle. Then we had uh, the blue line connected to the multi-grip open, um, and the black or the red line rather connected to the multi-grip close. And so we've named those. It'll make it a little bit easier um, when uh, it comes to referring to them in the program. So. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to start a new program, empty program. Um, and we're going to put this uh, system through the paces. So first um, is we're going to want to close the gripper. We'll do that as our first step. So um, now remember the gripper was a um, three-way system. So basically to close it, what we want to do is we want to turn off the open. Uh, we'll add that to our program. We want to turn on the close. And then we're going to wait for a couple seconds there. Then what we want to do is we want to do the opposite of that. So we want to um, turn off the close. And we want to turn on the open. And then we will uh, wait for that for a couple seconds. Then what we're going to do is um, we're going to open our vise. Uh, which means uh, turning off that solenoid. Uh, we're going to wait for two seconds. And then we are going to close our vise by uh, turning that solenoid on. So then uh, we'll wait for two seconds after that. And then we are going to exit our program. And um, it should halt after that cycle. Let's save this uh, into our um, bench test. And let's uh, fire this up and see what happens. Okay, so here we go. Cycle start. Close the gripper. Open the gripper. Open the vise. Close the vise. And that's the end of our program. So it seems pretty safe. I am going to um, remove that exit command at the end uh, of the program. And um, we're just going to let this uh, cycle run um, for a little bit of a sort of burn in test cycle. And, and let's see how things work out for us here. We should note that basically, uh, if there's no explicit exit, this robot program will just keep looping. So let's give it a shot. Close the gripper. Open the gripper. Open the vise, close the vise, and repeat. So great, everything seems to be working. I'm going to let that run for a bit, just to make sure that we don't have any faults in the system. Um, so as I get ready to, to mount the parts on the robot, we may as well just let this do a bit of a, a test cycle. So that was great. Normally things don't go quite that smoothly, but honestly, um, this was a pretty straightforward process. We were lucky. The bench test seems to be a success for the vise and for the grippers. Uh, we wrote a bit of code there. Seems to control the system, no problem. So uh, we're ready to move on. Next episode, what I'm going to do is cover uh, mounting the vise onto the CNC mill and mounting the grippers onto the robot. And then we'll try to figure out how to line things up and see if we can do some meaningful work. So thanks a lot for watching. Of course, any questions or comments, you know, down below. Uh, and we'll see you again at Big T's Chop Shop in the very near future.